New Year's Day this year means swearing in the high office holders. Governor Gretchen Whitmer took her second oath of office as the 49th governor of the state of Michigan. Local 4's Rod Maloney was there. Having been here for the last several of these inaugurals on New Year's Day, today was decidedly different in that we had relatively balmy weather, which led to a far more expanded ceremony where the governor laid out her plans for the future. With military precision and beautiful harmonies from young children, And with an air of dramatic change and a strong sense of purpose, Democrats from up and down the ballot took their oaths of office, ready to chart a new course for the state's direction. The governor stepping off her inaugural address with a promise to seniors to overturn the so-called pension tax. Let's ensure that our hardworking seniors can keep more of what they've earned. She also intends to continue pumping record dollars into our schools and expects a quick repeal of the state's right to work law. She's also looking at gun law changes. Let's reduce gun violence, the number one killer of kids in this country, by pursuing common sense reforms here. And she doubled down on more green energy. Let's tackle climate change head on while creating jobs, lowering costs and protecting our air and our lakes, great and small. Also taking the oath was Detroit Democratic State Representative and new House Speaker Joe Tate, who was looking to implement the governor's vision. He told us while they've not nailed down all the exact details and the order of business, he's all about working on broad stroke issues like. How are we supporting workers? How are we ensuring that uh, we are protecting families, focusing on pocketbook issues, uh, making sure that we're good stewards of the environment? From the the new Democratic majority takes control of the legislature technically when they have their first session, which comes in 10 days. They have a lot of things that they want to accomplish, but they have a slim majority. So we're going to have to see how this actually works. In Lansing, Rod Maloney, Local 4.